Arctix MX4 has recently been my go-to thermal paste of choice. It balances high performance with great value and is very easy to apply due to its low viscosity and more fluid consistency compared to many other high performance pastes. Arctic recently launched its MX5 thermal paste, and I decided to compare it to MX4 side by side to see if MX5 offers any improvement. Based on the technical specifications, MX5 has a lower viscosity, but higher density than MX4. It also has a unique blue color, whereas MX4 has a dull gray color. I prefer to spread thermal paste across the CPU surface to eliminate the chances of a portion of the heat spreader not getting any paste. Despite its supposed higher viscosity, MX4 glides very easily across the CPU surface. MX5, on the other hand, is a lot stickier and does not glide across the CPU surface easily. It is not as bad as some other pastes, but if you want to manually spread your thermal paste, MX4 is a little easier to apply. For my test setup, I used the PC that I recently assembled to test the Spylab's Jout case. It included the AMD Ryzen 5 5600X CPU, Fantex TC14PE CPU cooler, PNY NVIDIA Quadro P2200 graphics card, Rygentech Morpheus 2 GPU cooler, and ASRock B550 Phantom Gaming ITX motherboard. I used Prime95, Firmark, and Hardware Info to stress the system and collect thermal data. I tested the CPU at 10 watt power limit intervals between 45 watts and 75 watts. For the GPU, the power limit was locked, so it was tested at its stock power limit only. I performed the same exact tests with MX4 and with MX5. The coolers were removed and the thermal paste was replaced three times for each paste. The data that I am presenting here are the lowest thermal results for each thermal paste. The ambient room temperature was maintained at about 17.5 degrees Celsius, plus or minus 1 degree. The room temperature was tracked and subtracted from the CPU and GPU temperatures to equalize results. For the Ryzen 5 CPU, temperatures were slightly lower with the MX5 paste. The average temperature drop from MX4 was 0.7 degrees. The MX4 result at 65 watts doesn't appear here because it is right behind the MX5 result. Both pastes had a result of exactly 61.1 degrees above ambient at 65 watts. For the Quadro P2200 GPU, temperatures were again slightly lower with the MX5 paste, this time by exactly half a degree. So Arctix MX5 does offer a benefit when compared to their MX4 paste. The benefit is about half a degree lower temperatures. On the other hand, MX5 is a stickier paste. It's not as fluid and is somewhat more difficult to apply as a result. Both pastes have a claimed durability of 8 years. On Arctic's website, 2 grams of MX4 costs 7 euros, and 2 grams of MX5 costs 7.5 euros. 20 grams of MX4 costs 20 euros, and 20 grams of MX5 is 22 euros. On Amazon in the US, MX5 is actually less expensive than MX4 right now, so prices vary. But they are similar between MX4 and MX5. It is difficult to argue against even half a degree lower temperatures, but the fluidness of MX4 still draws me to MX4. Visit FullySilentPCs.com if you are interested in supporting this work and purchasing your own custom-built fanless PC. Thanks for watching. Like this video, share it, and subscribe for more fanless PC content.